Making a Cutting Board, video one. You're going to be making an end grain cutting board. So begin by choosing material from the appropriate bin. The pieces in the bin are going to vary in size. Mostly they'll be cut to 28 to 30 inches long. You want to choose enough material so that when you put them all together you have about 10 to 11 inches in total width. At this point the most important thing is to make sure that the thickness of all of the pieces are about the same. So notice this board right here. If we put this piece flat it's not nearly as thick as the other pieces but if we turn it on edge then they're very close to all the same thickness. It's also important now to look at the edge of the material. We could have a straight 9 degree edge on one side and a rough edge on the other. So you would make a straight edge on either the table saw or the joiner depending on how wide the board is. The pieces are going to vary in length. So use the miter saw to cut the boards all the same length and try to keep all of them as long as possible. Now clamp your board up without glue. You're going to use bar clamps. Make sure you have a full glue bottle and a wet rag and show the instructor. Upon approval, it's time to glue up our boards. Having a couple of classmates help make short work of this glue up. Get a couple of glue bottles, a couple of friends, spread glue on all the edges that you want to adhere together, and let's clamp this up. Start tightening the clamp so that you get an even glue squeeze out on all the edges. There's no better time than right now to use your wet rag to clean up all the glue. Make sure you clean off both sides of the board and more of the table than you think you need. Put your name on it and put it away to dry overnight. This concludes video one of making a cutting board. Let's get in the shop and let's get back to building.